Hi, this is real estate attorney and foreclosure defense attorney Roy Oppenheim from the trenches. I know many of you have been very anxious. We've been getting emails and phone calls already in the past 24 hours concerning the implications of what the Bartram case means to foreclosure defense and what the five-year statute of limitation means as it relates to individuals. And so I'd like to give you a brief takeaway of what uh, the Supreme Court uh, ruled uh, in the past 24 hours on the Bartram case. Number one, uh, the court really wanted to make sure that people do not have an opportunity to get a free home. What they basically were saying is that whether you had a previous foreclosure, whether you had a previous acceleration letter, whether acceleration had been indicated in a prior case, regardless of that, all that gets wiped out when in fact the case is dismissed, whether voluntarily or involuntarily. And in fact, uh, one of the concurring opinions dis discusses the fact that the court basically just runs over the, the distinction between what it means to have a, a, uh, a case dismissed voluntarily or involuntarily. Moving forward, uh, the, the court is indicating that a bank can bring a new foreclosure on any default that is at least, uh, that is not longer than five years old. So in fact, if you haven't been paying your mortgage for 10 years, there would be five years of payments that would be lopped off, but the bank can still uh, sue for the five years of previous payments and of course accelerate the loan again and start all over. Many people think that's un-American, it's unfair that the banks will keep coming after you after uh, time and time again, and that this is actually a form of legislating from, from the bench. In fact, the concurring opinion makes very clear that this is a dangerous incursion by the courts going into uh, legislating from the bench. Having said that, uh, the most important thing to recognize is that there are still defenses, there are still things that one can do, and that we here at Oppenheim Law are ready to help you. Uh, obviously, we are disturbed by the fact that the court uh, unduly relied on a Florida Bar Friend of the Court brief that I would previously uh, commented on, criticized, and, and indicated uh, was somewhat disingenuous in its representation of facts, particularly the facts as it relates to uh, the bank's capability and routinely deaccelerating loans after, in fact, their, their cases have been dismissed. We have rarely, rarely ever seen uh, bank statements from clients where uh, the statements are, are reconciled and, and, and revised to reflect that now uh, you can start making payments again and we'll just pretend that our former deacceleration never occurred. Having said that, the court has had the final word. We are here to continue to fight for you and please feel free to contact us, reach out to us, and we will help you. Roy Oppenheim from the trenches. Have a great day.